Shalom, one and all. Back with another, uh, just wanted to share a couple uh, fascinating reads I want to pass on to you. Oh, uh, this is uh, two books by uh, Dr. Miles Jones. He was, he's a, He's into uh, ancient ling linguistics. Uh, he's uh, ancient languages of uh, Hebrew, mainly Hebrew, but you know others too. Um, two books here I've read through. Find them real fascinating. Now, here's here's the first. The first one here is called the Writing of God. God, yeah. Um, no, this book. This book is about. Um, it's about. Uh, the Exodus, uh, but yeah, the Exodus, and uh, um, after the children of Israel left uh, Egypt, and they went to uh, Mount Sinai, the mountain of God, the, the real one, which is in Arabia, or now Saudi Arabia, not the traditional side of uh, Egypt, like uh, Constantine's uh, mother, <laughs> you know, deemed that, that that was the right site, and you know, of course, you know, mommy's boy. You know what what else he's gonna do <laughs> you know but uh but anyways the children of israel left the land the the black land the land of egypt um and they went up to the mountain of god now thing is dr jones and uh the people dis discovered the real mount sinai decades back um and some of the professionals uh were able to at least sneak in there you know from the prying eyes of the saudi government who didn't want nobody messing around it. Um, they found uh, ancient writings, you know, pet, uh, petroglyphs, geoglyphs, whatever. They were they were embedded in the rocks, whatever you know. And um, and uh, it was Miles, Miles Jones himself who found out. He looked he looked at pictures of them and said they were ancient Hebrew, early ancient, uh, like proto proto Hebrewic. You know, he, he found them. He looked at them. Found them, deciphered them, you know, and that's it's in this book right here, you know, uh, the writing of God. It's a real good book. I mean, it, it touches deep on stuff like that, and uh, the people that actually uh, took the pictures of them were the the Caldwell family back in the 1990s. They snuck in there and took some pictures, of course, and uh, we were blessed to get them. There's also besides pictures there, there's um, the split rock. They they found a split rock. They found um, the columns for the twelve tribes. Oh, they found um, um, altars. Oh, uh, you know, and then uh, little like bins. You know, like little aisles for the cattle to go through if this will get sacrificed. You know, an offering to Yahweh. But um, anyways, I just want to let you know this this book could be found. On, you just type up the writing of God, and it'll pop onto the site, and you can get this book. And he's got other books, a couple other books, and uh, this is a this is a good read. This is a he's a fascinating read. Now, second book he wrote is called the uh, Sons of Zion versus the Sons of Greece. Now, this book, this book, the second, that's volume two. This volume one, volume two is, be, is coming out. Any time within weeks, month, it's supposed to be the fall of 2021. It's supposed to come out. And this this book, it um, Dr. Jones, um, since the discoveries of um, Hebrew Gospels, they found Hebrew Gospels in in Spain, um, India. I mean, a few other places of of uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They found you know, uh, manuscripts, and they're not translated from the Greek, but it's supposedly the Greek translated from the Hebrew, because these are Hebrew-speaking Jews, Benjaminites, whatever, you know, and, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't be speaking Greek or anything like that. I mean, well, they, they try to say they would be speaking Greek, but most likely it's Hebrew, because you could see, you could, you could see in the Bible different spots where there's Hebrew puns. That's what they call it, wordplay. And to us and the Greeks and whoever else, we wouldn't catch up on it. But the Hebrews would read in the Hebrew. Like, you know, like how it says, you know, uh, you will name his son Yeshua because he will Yeshua his people. You know, Yah saves 
He's going to save his people. Salvation, you know, that's a wordplay. But there's many more in there in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And um, yeah, then this book, this book, you could find this like the other one, The Writing of God, um, on this on the website. And uh, um, you could also you could also find it on Amazon and other bookstores. But these are fascinating reads. They really are, you know. I mean, they st they give a little in depth of the topic and. A lot of mainstream uh, Christians and everything don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear about the Hebrew side of, you know, Christianity, the way, whatever, you know. They just, you know, want to just go to go to church and socialize instead of fellowship, you know. And they just want to look good and, you know, they expect, the, you know, somebody else to work out their own salvation. You know, the pastor or the reverend or whoever leader they you know they's like hey we're just sitting in the back seat and you guys are driving driving a car you know and that that just doesn't work you gotta you gotta study the bible you gotta study this and that and you know like the bible it's in english for us but you gotta break it down the words were words and situations and stuff like that but yeah that's i just wanted to share them two with you and it's a good read i promise you know for you guys as scholars you know amateur scholars scholars um you know, just keep an open mind about these and other books that I introduced to you. Just keep an open mind for them, you know. I mean, you believe them or you don't, but, or, you know, you might say, oh, there might be something, you know, to that. But, yeah, just give it a shot and, you know, it doesn't hurt, you know. I mean, it'll, it'll be a value to your little personal library in your house, you know. And, and I'll have plenty more of uh, recommendations and stuff, you know, just to look at and study and, you know, come to your own conclusion but anyways i'm out of here you you guys have a splendid day splendid week and be safe bye